I, I promise you. So if you thought that was a rant, so the, again, this, like I said, this is the post onslaught era. If you don't remember, Professor Xavier went crazy after the uh, little sliver of evil from Magneto got into his heart after he uh, wiped his mind. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, it's a C, son. That evil C, son. <laughs> got into his heart, and then it turned him into a lightweight, freaking sexual deviant child molester. And he started to turn and get revenge on uh, the X-Men, where he turns into this psionic creature. It took all the heroes of the world, sacrificing themselves to um, defeat him, and all the heroes are gone. And we'll get into that version of that story, and that's what that is. And so this is why the X-Men are hanging out by themselves in Central Park. Or that's not Central Park. What is that? Uh, Times Square. Times Square. There you go. You're more of a New Yorker person well, than I am. That's Rockefeller what, Center. Rockefeller Center, yeah. And Rockefeller. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's where all the heroes are. And in Franklin's little magical world, that's what they turned out to be. So if you don't remember, or you, because I guess they did another Re- Heroes Reborn in 2021. Um, really? so no, yeah, they did another onslaught too. Um, that yeah, I didn't read Maybe. it, but yeah, exactly. So, the idea of Heroes Reborn is because, and I, I, I don't know, I don't look at the sales charts or whatever, but if you didn't know, um, the Avengers and the Fantastic <laughs> Four in the 90s, so <laughs> if you don't believe us, go back and look at the uh, Fantastic Four's cartoon from the 90s. Cause that sucked as well as the Iron Man cartoon and the Avengers cartoon. Like it all sucked. So the idea was they were going to reboot the heroes, but first we are going to bring back all the image dudes that left to go start books that nobody gives a shit about to reboot our established heroes and then give them, you know, hot shot uh, these heroes and then move them into a new era in this alternate universe and world. And that leads to this question. So we have to ask ourselves, <laughs> why did Heroes Are Born suck, Brother Beavis? <laughs> well, um, I would say that, I, uh, can you flip back to that picture? Sure. First of all, who is this guy up front with the sword? Namor? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe wanna... that's a good guess. Yeah. I think um, it's Namor. Yeah. I mean, you're so first of all, you're absolutely right. Um, d- don't ever let the success of the MCU um, think yeah. make you think that the Avengers comic was in any way successful. That was the one property they had not sold off in some way. And that was all they had left. And they, they got lightning in a bottle, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, why did it suck? So I think, my recollection is they the book was written like almost as if it was going to be ongoing like they would have two to three or maybe one one even one issue like storylines where they would cycle through villains like oh no this is just like a brand new comic that we're establishing Mm -hmm. um and we're just going to work through the pantheon like it's a regular ass book Mm -hmm. And, and instead and so and obviously that was never going to be the case right so instead of like telling a 12 part story about how they go from being banished to coming back it was just like we're here we're going to tell 11 random stories guess what we couldn't plot it out so we actually need 13 mm-hmm. to then wrap it up and then it'll just be done yeah so that was like from a overall plot line like i don't think any of it like was really i'm assuming nothing was really thought out then Obviously, you know, some of the talent involved was up for the challenge. Some of the talent involved was clearly not up for the challenge. <laughs> uh, you know, the whole like they had five years to practice not putting out books on time. Mm. And so then to get back into Marvel and be like, oh, no, you're putting out 13 books in a year or yeah. 13 months or whatever. We're like, oh, word. Yeah. So then the quality just went to shit. They started shuffling the creators around. Yeah. And, you know, it was just it was just obviously a publicity stunt uh, that sort of brought us right back to where we started. And I don't know like if, if there was renewed interest in any of the books on the back end or not. 
Yeah, I mean, Hero's return, I don't think was really like a hidden thing either. You know, I mean, I remember getting the books because this is prime collecting time now, mm-hmm. you know, getting probably 12, 13, 14 books a month. Yes, bought all the Heroes Reborn books. You know, I was excited about, oh, they're bringing these guys back. I mean, again, if you go back and look at the Jim Lee Fantastic Four, I mean, it's an amazing looking book, but it sucked. And yeah. then I think Liefeld wound up getting shit canned part of the way through it. And then, like, uh, what? So I think Lee wound up having, and his team yeah. had to take over Fantastic Captain America yeah. and and the Avengers because I think that it it turned out to be a mess. And like you said, it was just like, all right, yeah, we did this. All right, all right, welcome back. And that was pretty much it. The story told nothing. Yeah. It was just yeah, a, it's not... to take them out of the the books for twelve months. I'm sure the the pitch was never like. Here's a year long story we want to tell. Yeah. What would be a great way to do this? It was, oh, wow, we could get names back on the book because we don't have anybody mm-hmm. that really measures up to, you know, what we lost because, you know, we read some of the, we were hitting the crossovers sort of in this window and the, the creative teams, well, the writing. So this was, you know, the Lobdell era or whatever mm-hmm. and the Fabian Niciesa, but like the art was consistently bad. Yeah. uh the the creative teams got shuffled around mm-hmm. and so like they're just kind of now getting some some decent like recognizable and distinct creative teams back together um so i don't know it was just it was a hot shot yeah it's a completely it it, it was a mess and that's what I was saying. Like in 2021, they redid, re revisited it. I don't know who drew them. I don't know who did any of that stuff. But I was just like, that is not an era we need to go back to, like at all. Like this was. I mean, I'm sure I have those books somewhere, and I'm sure they're not worth a damn thing mm-hmm. because who cares? Like it was really just, hey, yeah, we're gonna get these guys away. Okay, that's great. And, you know, and the the lasting image, you know, again, if you're on YouTube, is the freaking Rob Liefeld, mm. Captain America titty shot. Like, I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's, it is the lasting image of Heroes Reborn. It is. He got run over by like a steamroller and that was yeah. what was left on the ground. <laughs> he's just, I mean, he's a terrible person. He's a terrible artist. There's nothing good about Rob Liefeld at yeah. all. And, and again, he, Go ahead. I was going to say, speaking of like resets, like it's not like they used the 13 issues where everybody was gone to yeah. change any of the perception about the X-Men or no. change their standing in the in the world. They yeah. go right back to being the people that are feared and hated by those they protect. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about push. That's a push for the X-Men. Like, hey, you guys are the only heroes here. Nah. OK, whatever. They didn't get a chance to change their perception. Spider-Man's still anybody. around, right? Yeah, <laughs> there's gotta be somebody. Got, I ain't calling them mutants. Anyway, so all right. 